Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new YouTube video and today in this video we're doing chapter 50 of Boruto Naruto Next Generation's predictions. You get that right, predictions. And first off, before this video starts, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the support you that you gave me on this channel. I have gained 42 plus subscribers and have loads of interactions with you in the comment section in this video in other videos and just like just other videos generally i love like people like i had a hate comment and i have been laughed at in black clover spoiler video i absolutely fucking laughed on that video but it's just it's just saying i'm really grateful i'm really grateful i love interaction with you guys i love your theories i love your predictions and all of that but if you have any predictions with the next chapter comes out make sure you comment your predictions on chapter 50 in the comment section i can feature it in chapter 51 predictions because i want your predictions to come on my prediction videos and you get a shout out you can see your comment on the screen and i can talk about my predictions after the video after the your predictions is over so before this video starts make sure you subscribe to this channel we are road to one 1k you get that right road to 1k and we are like quarter weight over there and we just need 700 and something subscribers but it doesn't amount matter about the subscribers not it matters about you guys watching my videos because i fucking love you and i'm really grateful also can we smash this like button right now because we need to get 10 links in this video we have smashed the like button in all my videos in i almost got 100 likes in my black clover spoiler video but hope this can surpass that is a hurt is a is a please promise me this make sure you smash the like button right now and get up to 50 likes not 10 likes i'll scratch that idea 50 likes i am promising you i am telling you to smash that like button right now okay and now people's gonna say shut up soid about this and get straight on the predictions right now so i have three written written down it's just like bullet points like oh what happened to chapter because i'd reread the chapter again because i've forgotten what happened and i just put like uh three bullet points like little summaries like a little maybe like a sentence and then i can just talk about it in my own fucking words but yeah first off is a maddo secret plan i think he isn't working with the shinobis at all and kona i think he he is basically Carpato, the you know, uh, Lord, oh, okay, the snake dude, the snake dude in Naruto, the like the villain in part one. I've got it, I can't say his name. I know people's gonna bl 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 bully me because all my YouTube friends have bullied me because I can't fucking say his name anymore. <laughs> but yeah, the snake dude. So we like, he's like Carpato and he's like a spy and he's like that with Ichiki and he's gonna get all the information about Connor and like where Kwaki is staying at. He probably has a hidden device in his pockets or some shit to contact him after he defeat try to defeat or defeat the fight with Boruto, Sasuke and Naruto in the Momoshik's dimension so and he probably gonna implant something in Kawaki or like kill Sai or just do like do, do something secretly in his plan because I don't trust him at all he's like a very sneaky cautious mysterious man ever and plus Sasuke didn't trust some of the words that came out of his mouth in chapter 47 48 and 46 I don't, I don't know I said that I'm in a weird order but yeah that is it so uh, at the end of the chapter we got Naruto Boruto and Sasuke in a different dimension with Ichiki so this is a great great space and a great great area that Naruto and Sasuke can go all out and Naruto needs to get used to his abilities especially in this fight so because he's a bit rusty but it doesn't mean he's, he has to get kicked around all the time especially in this chapter he got kicked around all the time i want a naruto good moment i don't i know it's ne the next generations but the older generations should have some good moments in this manga as well so this fight has to be really good right like it doesn't have to be top notch writing but it has to be good written not like the last chapter fight like in chapter 38 so that was terrible 
terribly written, terrible writ written, but Naruto and Sasuke has to, should get all out, and I can't wait for that. Like, Naruto could do beast bombs, the trucker bombs, and like many more powerful god tier moments in this manga. So, people, it's like there's a one question, like, people's asking loads of people and wondering about, like, how many chapters will this fight be? I'm predicting three or four chapters this fight might, might be because they can't, because the anime can do it longer. I don't mind that. The anime could do it like the better the animation and do it longer, like, extended the bits in the destruction of Kona and all of that. No, it's not destruction, but like a little bit damage of Kona, but yeah, that's just it. And then we got the bore to Momoshiki Bore. Bore Shiki mode. He's definitely he's definitely gonna be activated again because in chapter was it was it yeah chapter forty four we got his, the first appearance of Bore Shiki and this needs to get uh do it again like it has to be activated and people thought the Jogun got activated in this chapter but I think the Jogun might get activated after this fight because if Sasuke and Naruto is going all out um Sasuke can't do any teleportation skills. Mo um Boruto is gonna get run out of chocolate like straight away because of the Boroshiki mode. The Rinnegan ability um wouldn't be run out straight away because Sasuke doesn't have that much chakra. So the Jogun has to activate time to teleport them back back to home because it, it can see portals and pre has to be another ability that can open another portals to the back to earth and all of that. So this is where Sasuke is good going to give or to the scar because i think both borshiki is gonna help uh naruto and sasuke for a bit after they like kind of damage e or like damage ishiki they're gonna turn around uh he's gonna turn around and try to attack naruto and sasuke when they're like a little bit alone in chakra like sasuke is gonna be a little bit low in chakra but naruto shouldn't be in low in chakra because he has limited chakra a limited chakra you get that right borto writers he has a limited chakra he doesn't run out of fucking chakra in chapter 38 he doesn't run out of chakra he's been in hokage's office the whole time and the shadow clones doesn't take ten thousands of chakra every single clone you get that right every single clone so this is like it so this is my predictions right here if you enjoy this video make sure you smash the like button hit the subscribe button turn the bell notification on because that's an important part of my channel because you never miss a daily upload also i'm reviewing the boruto anime and doing them spoilers of episodes and chapter spoilers and many more i do black clover content as well so and my academia content as well but if you enjoyed the video see you in the next video peace out